Okay, good evening. Actually, my, my laptop is lacking. So I would like to I will start. I know refreshed, I'm sorry. Um so um have you completed your homework yet? Your homework? Uh, hôm nay cô định uh, cho test hả? Linh hôm nay làm test hả? Right? Yeah. Mm, okay, rồi. Uh, rồi để cô mở test nha. Đợi cô một chút. Test. Okay. So before testing, so how are you today, Linh? I'm pretty tired. Uh, because why are you pretty tired? Because of because I study at school. <laughs> now tell me more. Why you feel tired? Chúng ta uh, chúng ta có thể nói là lý do là chúng ta mệt bởi vì chúng ta học các môn gì. Đấy làm sao để làm dài câu trả lời hơn? Được chưa? Oh, right. Thì hôm nay cô sẽ cho Linh làm test ha. Test. Oh, well. Where is the link? Last time we were studying about listening, right? Uh, okay. Đến lớp cho Linh ngồi. Do you have class? Đi đâu đi? À, your mom calling you. What the hell? Your mom is calling. You. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Um, so today, uh, this afternoon, do you have any class? Hmm? Linh, you go out. You work out. Well, test the voice. Cô nói cho biết. Ừ, cô hỏi là à, chiều nay mình có tiết hào ở trường hay không? Chứ mà... Có. Đợi cô một chút nữa, cô sẽ lấy test. Cô test cô ở đâu nhỉ? À, đây rồi. Đây, rồi. test của chúng ta. Uh, no. Mạng thì hơi lát một chút. No. Test number one. Thấy thấy uh, you don't. Okay, okay. Wait for me, wait for me. I will download. <coughs> um, by the way, do you have any, do you use headphone or earphone? Yes, I have. You have one? Okay, good. Because last time I, because last time you didn't have, right? Um, no, 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 Oh my god. Uh, did you have dinner? No, I didn't. You didn't. Okay. Yeah. So when did you back home now? 
Uh, when did you back home today? When did you back home? What time? What time did you get back home? Hmm? Yeah, okay. Oh, here it is. Please. How did you back home today? I'm oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, now, do you see the test? Yes, I can. Okay. Now, we will have a test now. Now, part one, we are going to listen to this. We have going to listen. As well, touch one, we will listen this once only. Touch one, listen to the person. With the deduction he had, uh, he made a uh, so look at the screen, and we have got three questions. Now, the first time we will shake the volume, and the second time we will listen. You get it? You get it? Do you understand, Lin? Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Good. Khi nào mạng lát thì hãy bảo cô nhá. Lesson 4G, exercises 3 and 4. Student 1. The first photo shows three teenage girls and a boy. I think they're at a music festival. They're walking down a muddy path. In the second photo, I can see a street market at night. It can't be in Britain because some of the shop signs aren't in English. In the foreground, a young man and woman are walking along the street. In the background, there are a few other people. Both photos show people in their free time. One obvious difference is that the first photo is taken during the day and the second photo is taken at night. In the first photo, it must be a rainy day because they're wearing raincoats. In the second photo, it must be a cold night because the people are wearing winter coats and scarves. In the first photo, the people don't look very happy especially the girl in the middle and the boy in the background. Perhaps they're feeling fed up because of the weather. In the second photo, the man and woman are probably feeling cold, but not unhappy. Okay, now, chúng ta có nghe thấy rõ nhỉ? This clear enough? Không ạ. À, chưa rõ đúng không? Bởi vì lần đầu tiên cô bảo rồi chúng ta sẽ check volume, check âm thanh xem rõ không? Lần thứ hai chúng ta mới làm. Nào, cái bài thứ nhất đó là nghe thí sinh đầu tiên và sau đó thì hoàn thành những cái phần dẫn chứng mà anh Tấy tạo ra. Câu 1, câu 2 và câu 3. Chúng ta đều không có từ vựng nào đúng không? Và để làm được mấy câu này thì chúng ta sẽ phải nhìn vào look at pictures. Chúng ta phải nhìn vào tranh đúng không nhỉ? Vâng. Yeah. Yeah. Vậy thì cái vấn đề ở đây chúng ta làm đó là chúng ta phải hoàn thành sau cái chữ new course, đúng không? Đúng không? Right? Đấy, thế thì ừ. chúng ta phải nghe. À, vừa rồi nghe thì có thấy dài không? Cảm thấy như thế nào? What do you think? Cảm thấy nó khó không Linh? Khó. <cười> ok. So, because it is the first time, so I will play it twice. Is this okay? Is this okay? Okay, now. We will start the first time. Are you ready? Please write down from number one to number three. Write down from number one. Okay, done. done. Right, let's get it started. Lesson 4G. Exercises 3 and 4. Student 1. The first photo shows three teenage girls and a boy. I think they're at a music festival. They're walking down a muddy path. 
In the second photo, I can see a street market at night. It can't be in Britain because some of the shop signs aren't in English. In the foreground, a young man and woman are walking along the street. In the background, there are a few other people. Both photos show people in their free time. One obvious difference is that the first photo is taken during the day and the second photo is taken at night. In the first photo, it must be a rainy day because they're wearing raincoats. In the second photo, it must be a cold night because the people are wearing winter coats and scarves. In the first photo, the people don't look very happy, especially the girl in the middle and the boy in the background. Perhaps they're feeling fed up because of the weather. In the second photo, the man and woman are probably feeling cold, but not unhappy. Okay, now we will start the second time, right? Yeah. Okay, the second. Lesson 4G, exercises 3 and 4. Student 1. The first photo shows three teenage girls and a boy. I think they're at a music festival. They're walking down a muddy path. In the second photo, I can see a street market at night. It can't be in Britain because some of the shop signs aren't in English. In the foreground, a young man and woman are walking along the street. In the background, there are a few other people. Both photos show people in their free time. One obvious difference is that the first photo is taken during the day and the second photo is taken at night. In the first photo, it must be a rainy day because they're wearing raincoats. In the second photo, it must be a cold night because the people are wearing winter coats and scarves. In the first photo, the people don't look very happy especially the girl in the middle and the boy in the background. Perhaps they're feeling fed up because of the weather. In the second photo, the man and woman are probably feeling cold, but not unhappy. So now I need to take note your answers. So please tell me number one is. Number one is I don't have answer. Okay, it is okay. Number two. They wore rainy coat. It was raining. Rainy coat. Because, yeah. Because they wore rainy coat, the people wore rainy coat. Ah, they were wearing or oh, they gonna get a Were were rainy coat. Were gì nè? Em biết là nhá. À, em biết sai phần chat cho cô này. Were gì? Ah, okay. Rồi, rainy coat. Wool hay là wear? Wool, wool hay wear nhỉ? <cười> wool hay wear nhỉ? Nào, khi mà chúng ta làm xong đáp án, chúng ta có một cái phần đó là check lại xem những nghĩa của nó có ổn hay không. Nếu như họ, chúng ta nói là wool, <cười> chính xác đó là wear đúng không? Mặc đúng không? áo mưa. Rồi, tiếp nào, câu 3. It must be a cold night because Hello? You hear me? Hello? Yeah. 
Okay, okay. Three, three. Three is because the people are wearing warm clothes. Ah. Because the people ha, the ha, có the people ha. Em biết phần chat cho cô nè, để đáp án nó chính xác hơn. People, the people làm sao? Hello, 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 no. That people are wearing warm clothes. Okay. Good job. Uh, next. Now, task two. Listen. Are these sentences true or false? We have got five questions from number one to number five. Please write down from number one to number five. I also play this recording twice. After twice, you will listen and give me the answers. You understand? I'm ready. Okay, you're ready. Do you need time to read the statement from number one to number five? Do you need time? No. Oh, no. Okay, if you don't want to read, I have read. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. If you don't want, I will play it now. Okay, now the first time. Lesson 6C, exercises 8 and 9. Georgina Hepworth finished her lunch and relaxed in her seat with a cup of tea. She was nearly two hours into the flight. She turned to the woman in the seat next to her and said, I'm really looking forward to my holiday in Spain. Oh, when are you going to Spain then? asked her fellow passenger. Well, now, of course, said Georgina. The woman gave her a puzzled look. Not on this plane, you're not, she replied. That's when Georgina found out that her plane wasn't heading for the historic city of Granada in Spain, but for the island of Grenada in the Caribbean. The Spanish city is 1,500 kilometres south of London. The island, on the other hand, is 7,000 kilometres away on the other side of the Atlantic. After her husband died earlier in the year, Georgina decided to go on holiday to Spain. She contacted a travel agent and booked the flight on the phone. When the tickets arrived in the post, she didn't notice that one letter was different in the name of the destination. It said Grenada, not Granada, but I didn't look very closely, Georgina later explained. She didn't spot the difference in spelling at the airport either. I noticed that the departure time and the arrival time were very different, she said, but I thought that was because of the time difference between Britain and Spain. When she realised her mistake, two hours into the flight, Georgina spoke to the flight attendant. I thought the plane was going to Spain, but it's going to the Caribbean, she said. The flight attendant was very sympathetic, allowed Georgina to sit in a first-class seat and gave her champagne. But the plane was over the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and heading west. There was nothing that Georgina could do but wait until the plane landed at its destination. When the plane finally arrived in the Caribbean, the airline put her in a hotel for the night, and then on the following day, 
flew her to Granada in Spain. The travel agent apologized to Georgina and gave her a free ticket for her next holiday. It was just a misunderstanding, said Georgina. I don't blame anyone. The travel agent just misheard me. I'm certainly not complaining. They've given me a free holiday in Austria. Let's hope they don't send me a ticket to Australia. Okay, I think it's pretty long for you. Uh, are you okay? Are you okay? And are you ready for the second time? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Now we will listen to this again. Lesson 6C, exercises 8 and 9. Georgina Hepworth finished her lunch and relaxed in her seat with a cup of tea. She was nearly two hours into the flight. She turned to the woman in the seat next to her and said, I'm really looking forward to my holiday in Spain. Oh, when are you going to Spain then? asked her fellow passenger. Well, now, of course said Georgina. The woman gave her a puzzled look. Not on this plane you're not, she replied. That's when Georgina found out that her plane wasn't heading for the historic city of Granada in Spain, but for the island of Grenada in the Caribbean. The Spanish city is 1,500 kilometres south of London. The island, on the other hand, is 7,000 kilometres away on the other side of the Atlantic. After her husband died earlier in the year, Georgina decided to go on holiday to Spain. She contacted a travel agent and booked the flight on the phone. When the tickets arrived in the post, she didn't notice that one letter was different in the name of the destination. It said Grenada, not Granada, but I didn't look very closely, Georgina later explained. She didn't spot the difference in spelling at the airport either. I noticed that the departure time and the arrival time were very different, she said, but I thought that was because of the time difference between Britain and Spain. When she realised her mistake, two hours into the flight, Georgina spoke to the flight attendant. I thought the plane was going to Spain, but it's going to the Caribbean, she said. The flight attendant was very sympathetic, allowed Georgina to sit in a first-class seat and gave her champagne. But the plane was over the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and heading west. There was nothing that Georgina could do but wait until the plane landed at its destination. When the plane finally arrived in the Caribbean, the airline put her in a hotel for the night and then on the following day flew her to Granada in Spain. The travel agent apologised to Georgina and gave her a free ticket for her next holiday. It was just a misunderstanding, said Georgina. I don't blame anyone. The travel agent just misheard me. I'm certainly not complaining. They've given me a free holiday in Austria. Let's hope they don't send me a ticket to Australia. I have so, but I'm not sure that's correct. Mm. Number one. Number one is 
F four. Is it false? Okay, two. Number two is two. Okay. Number three is two. Right. Number four is four. Number five is two. two. Chúng ta có một cách đó là sau ngày hôm nay cái có thể xem lại cái phần video của ô cô ở trên kênh rồi chúng ta nghe lại bài chúng ta nếu như mà hôm nay chúng ta trong bài kiểm tra chúng ta chưa được tập trung thì chúng ta có thể nghe lại lần nữa. Đó, có thể vấn đề nhé. Tiếp nào. Nào part 2 reading. Part 2 reading. Uh, top three, view the text and answer the question from number one to number five. So to call the correct answers A to D. Uh, so we have got a passage, right? Then we have got five. Mm. Uh, uh, okay, do you see? Clearly? Yes, I can. Okay. Uh, do you see? Three. I will give you one minute for the question. Huh? Now let me see. Four. Okay. Now we got three questions before doing this. Five questions. Sorry. Chúng ta sẽ. Đây là năm câu Câu 1 Number 1 Chúng ta đã đọc và sau đấy thì chúng ta chọn đáp án Xong thì cô sẽ chuyển tiếp Rồi Cứ làm xong đi xong rồi có đáp án thì gửi cô Câu số 1 Number one, same when pack packing because My answer is D. Okay, D. So next number two. And got lost first. My answer is A. A. Question number three. Sam's employers realized Sam will not be when.
my answer is D. D. Very quick. B đúng không? Yes. Ok, bò, B bò. À, B bò, sorry. Rồi, number four. Rescue, the rescue service found Sam after the... My answer is C. C. Rồi, last question. C. C, đúng không? Vâng. Rồi, C. Tiếp, number five. In the article, the author. thường cho khi chúng ta đọc tiếng anh thì câu chủ đề có thể liên quan đó là một là người ta sẽ nói chủ đề chính luôn ở đầu đoạn văn và hai là chúng ta có thể là ở cuối cùng câu cuối cùng đoạn cuối cùng thì nó sẽ nói đến cái nội dung chính mà nhà văn muốn nói đến My 
answer is B. B đúng không nhỉ? Ok, B bò đúng không? Vâng. Rồi. Vâng. Ok, bây giờ cô sẽ nhìn lại, mở lại nhé. Câu 5, Linh chọn D. À, câu 5, Linh chọn B. Câu 4. Uh, câu 4, Linh chọn C. Notice his signal. Câu 4, C. Vâng. Rồi. Câu 3, D. They saw that all his money was gone. Câu 3, D. Oh. Của em là D, 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 V ấy cô. À, D, D hả? Rồi, D, D đúng không? Rồi, câu 3 là D. Rồi, ok. Dừa. Câu 2, A. À. Đúng chưa? Đúng rồi. rồi. Câu 1, D, D. Được chưa? Câu 1 là D. Đúng rồi, cũng rồi. Ok, rồi. Tiếp nào. Next. Bài đọc thứ hai. Rồi chúng ta sẽ xem này nhá. Chúng ta bỏ qua phần đọc đó, chúng ta đến phần speaking nhá. Ừ. Rồi. Because we don't have enough time so we will move on speaking part. Now, I'm gonna ask you some question a very general about topic animal. So the first question is what's your favorite animal, please? My favorite animal is cat because it is adorable and useful. Good job. Do you have a pet? Yes, I have. I have got one dog. Mm, okay. Well done. Why do people have pets? Why do people have pets? Why people have pets? Why? Ah, okay. It is very big people. question. So, okay, I will ask you later. Uh, number four. Uh, do you often do you often read? Yes, I often read horror book. Ah, a uh, novel, novel, novel book, a novel. Uh, novel. Okay, novel. Uh, so number five, which is your favorite kind of book to read? Ah, you already answered this, right? And number six, do you have any ebook? Ebook. Like you go online and you look. Uh, no, I don't have. You don't. You don't have any, right? You don't have no, any. I don't have. Yeah. So please make it longer. Like you don't have any ebook because tell me the reason why you don't have. Why? I don't have ebook because I. I don't know. Don't uh, want to when read. We, when we read ebook, uh, my eyes, uh, your eyes became, we become tired, right? Tired or tired. Tức là mỏi mệt đúng không nhỉ? Cái mắt sẽ mỏi đúng không? Khi chúng ta mà đọc ebook rồi. Uh, okay, I ask you the question number three again, huh? Why do people have pets? Why do people have pets? Tại sao? Tại sao người con người lại cần có? Are they the, Are they our friends? Are they our friends? Yes or no? Chúng có phải là những người bạn của chúng ta không? Chúng ta coi chúng như những người bạn đúng không nhỉ? Đúng không? Rồi. Rồi. Vậy thì chúng ta hoàn thành 5 trên 6 câu hỏi. Chờ. Ok. Để em trả lời câu 3 cho cô. <cười> ok, nào. Again, number 3. People have pets because 
they are our friends. Rồi, gì nữa không nhỉ? Vậy ý đó là bạn rồi làm sao nữa không? Có thể là chúng có thể là chia sẻ câu chuyện của chúng ta, chúng ta có thể chia sẻ câu chuyện của chúng. À, chúng ta có thể chia sẻ của chúng ta với chúng. Đấy, chúng nghe lắng nghe câu chuyện của chúng ta đúng không? Đấy, đấy là một vài ý. Và chúng rất là thân thiện, chúng rất là dễ thương. Uh, what are you trying to have better variable? Oh, oh, no, no, it's not about writing, it's about speaking. <laughs> Some people have pet for various reason. Some people keep pets because of their physical attractiveness. Some of their playfulness or other unique. Unique. Unique personalities and characteristics okay. why other keep pets for companionship companionship à, thì chúng ta đây là chúng ta copy trên mạng thì chúng ta sẽ khó đọc như vậy đây cô đang nói đến cái ý tưởng của chúng ta tuy nhiên thì chúng ta đã hoàn thành khá ổn 5 trên 6 câu rồi nên chúng ta không quá lo rồi về nhà chúng ta sẽ hoàn thành nốt cái phần um, sao nhỉ hết rồi đúng không chúng ta hết rồi phần reading này chúng ta chưa hoàn thành xong ok nhá vậy thì chúng ta tạm thời đã hoàn thành test này rồi được chưa bởi vì lần đầu tiên ừ. chúng ta còn một chút bỡ ngỡ không sao cả lần tới thì cô sẽ cho làm bài kiểm tra test có thể chúng ta sẽ làm test lại hoặc như nào đó được chưa ừ. Ừ. So do you have any question today no No. I don't have. Mm. Oh, well, listening, you find it different, right? It different. Yes. Mm. So maybe uh, at home you can do it again and you send the, the answer to me. Okay? You send the answer to me. Yes. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Okay. So if you don't have any questions, so it's time to say good night and we will see on um, next week, right? Uh -huh. no. Thank you, thank you. See you, Link. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye, Miss Ching. Okay, see. You.